Good morning. Jeremiah prophesied for decades. Did the people hear him well? Following the chronology, our reading takes us now to Jeremiah chapter 25, and today we'll look at the first seven verses. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah, in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, which was the first year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, which Jeremiah the prophet spoke to all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josiah, the son of Amon, king of Judah, even to this day, this is the twenty-third year in which the word of the Lord has come to me. And I have spoken to you, rising early and speaking, but you have not listened. And the Lord has sent to you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but you have not listened nor inclined your ear to hear. They said, Repent now every one of his evil way and his evil doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord has given you and your fathers forever and ever. Do not go after other gods to serve them and worship them, and do not provoke me to anger with the works of your hands, and I will not harm you. Yet you have not listened to me, says the Lord, that you might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. We come now to this chapter 25. It's a very decisive chapter in the book of Jeremiah. The 70 years prophecy is finally pronounced in this chapter. The kingdom is facing a decisive time, and, and this is, marks a decisive point even for Jeremiah. The prophecy concerns all the people of Judah. These prophecies come to the throne also as in a rising nation to the east, Babylon, as Nebuchadnezzar comes to the throne there in Babylon. Jeremiah, he's been prophesying for 23 years, and mostly response has been quite poor. But he soldiers on, he and the other prophets that God has called to warn his people. Over and over, the call has come to flee idolatry, to repent. And what's the response? Well, the people have persisted in idolatry. They've continued the long list of sins that they've been up to over and over, just keep right on doing it. Now, these seven verses are the preamble to this pronouncement of the 70-year prophecy. I'm sure you've heard of it. That's going to come tomorrow morning. But right now, before he drops the big one, the most important prophecy of his career, he's recounting the many years of warning that God has done through his ministry. Year after year, he has warned, you must turn back. So what lesson might you and I draw from this reading? Well, one thing is to know that God is patient. He seeks us relentlessly. God is moral. His commandments never change. He's fair. He gives us clear warnings before he acts. His goal is to restore, and he, he employs a, a wide range of options to get us there if we're willing to go there. Sometimes the options are very strong, as we'll see tomorrow morning. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for warning your people again and again and again and again. Lord, sending your prophets, sending Jeremiah and, and some of these other prophets. Lord, you have spoken, but the people have not listened. Then there's us, Lord. You've spoken to this generation many times with the Bible, but a lot of people in our generation have not listened. Please, Lord, help us to listen to you. Help us to listen to your counsels of prophecy and take them seriously, Lord, before it's too late, before you... Uh, take another strong step that we'd prefer you didn't take. Help us to be right in our hearts, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So the question was, did the people listen well? And the answer is no. They didn't listen well. They're not answering the phone. We'll see what happens next. Anyway, you and I today, let's serve the Lord Jesus. God be with you.